Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing another love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius anywhere in your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. So don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Okay, so let's see. What are some things you guys need to be illuminated on? For Aquarius, spirit guides, and the light. okay so we have here missing you so somebody here misses you okay i'm also seeing that some of you guys can need to get by water okay to refresh your mind to feel rejuvenated just take a walk on the sand okay to help yourself get grounded like don't wear any shoes just wear walk barefooted okay we have inadequate so somebody here is feeling very overwhelmed okay they're feeling like they can't handle what's happening to them in life okay it's like they feel depressed this person feels like giving up okay they could be trying to either use drugs to cope with how they feel okay because i'm seeing this person misses you so much and it's like they feel like they most definitely know that they was in the wrong and that's why they're trying to regain control of the situation but they don't know how to go about it okay you know this person misses you a lot i'm seeing this person could come in towards you and propose with the marriage here okay to try to make you feel like you know oh my god because you know when people propose or pop that question it makes you feel good on the inside right like who don't want that right so they're gonna try to come in with this ring or oh, i'm seeing here somebody is gonna either be trying to come in with some type of promise ring Somebody here could like to wear a Tiffany and Co. and Pandora. Like somebody here could have a Pandora bracelet and a Tiffany necklace that this person could have bought you or gave you the money for it to buy. I'm also seeing here this person could have been in some type of marriage here, okay? And it's like they didn't know what to do. I'm seeing this person feel inadequate. It's like they feel very overwhelmed. I'm also seeing they feel very nervous to commit, but it's like they feel like they had to do that. Like, they was obligated to do that. I'm also seeing this person trying to regain control of their life, okay? Somebody here could have just came out that they are they like the same sex or somebody here is bisexual. Yeah, see, this person have fear of commitment. Even though they could be married, it's like this person have fear of commitment. It's like they just, I feel like they didn't think twice about marrying this person. Like, it's like they just went in for it. They didn't really think how they should have thought. This person also have fear for change. They have, they can have a fear of on these emotions that they have for you. They have a fear of intimacy here, even though they can have a relationship, but it's like, they don't give it their all. You know, we have, yeah, see this person have unhappy patterns that they need to deal with. Somebody here could have been doing some type of spell work here to regain control of a situation. This probably was this person. The universe has a plan. So I'm also seeing somebody could be doing some bad spell work, you know, and it's going to backfire on them. You know, the universe has a plan. And we have taken a risk. Yeah, so I'm seeing that somebody here is going to be taking a risk to come in towards you. Okay, somebody could be very intimidated by you. Okay, yeah, they could feel like it's over between you guys. Somebody here could like to watch the sunset. And I can't do it, determination. Okay, so I can do it. You see, uh, the T is like scratched out, well cut out. Somebody here could have a dice tattoo. Somebody here could like to have like gel nails, like you don't like acrylic, you just like gel nails or you like the color red. This person could like the color red. Yeah, somebody here took a risk and did some type of 
some type of magic here that they weren't supposed to do. But it's going to come out to the surface. This person, and yeah, they're going to get their karma. Because the universe has a plan. And you know when the universe steps in, everybody needs to back up. I'm also seeing here, something's going to happen here. The universe is going to cause some type of time moment or something like that. And it's like it's going to push this person to take a risk. Because they feel like they have fear about taking this risk. But it's like they're going to take it. They also feel like it's risky because it's like they can, you know, it's like they know you, but they don't know you. You know, we have fresh start. Yeah, they're going to be coming towards a fresh start. All I'm seeing here, it's like that this person don't fix their unhealthy patterns and stick up for themselves and stop these addictions, or the case may be. They sabotage their relationships. I'm saying you're going to take a risk. You're going to move on. You're going to have a fresh start with somebody new. Or you're going to get a sign from the universe that, you know, you need to move forward. You left quite an impression. Yeah, I feel like Aquarius, anywhere that you come across, you, you leave quite an impression on them. It's like, you know, they can't get their energy nowhere else. Okay, you're one of a kind. Yeah, you're on the right path. So you could be seeing 111. A lot of synchronicities here. Okay, that's guiding you. Look those synchronicities up. But you're on the right path. You can either feel yourself being on the right path. Okay. And we have illumination. So, it's still things being illuminated in this situation, okay? This person is attached to you, okay? But it's going to take some type of patience here still because people are still being illuminated, okay? This person. And what they need to do. And I'm also seeing here things are being illuminated to you as well. I feel like things that you need to either still need to work on, okay? It's being illuminated to you. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not 100% perfect, right? So it's still things that you're starting to figure out. And, you know? Okay, what else is going on? Spirit guides of the light and just some masters. My angel of current life is really excellent of Aquarius. So at the bottom of the deck here, we have playfulness. It said, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So you guys could just be having fun right now, okay? You're not taking nothing too serious. Or I'm seeing here, you could be in a connection. And it's like you guys have so much fun with each other. It's like you do so much stuff with each other. It's literally your best friend. What else? Very guys of the night. just kind of late. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah, so if you've been thinking negative, okay, that's going to manifest. So make sure you're thinking positive. Make sure you're having faith that you're going to get the love that you deserve, okay? Um, somebody here could have like a flower headband or like to wear like scarves around their hair. We have flirt. It says extend your light heart energy to others. Yeah, so I'm seeing here that if you're feeling like all stuck up and just like sad and depressed, Okay, most definitely heal that, but don't stay in the energy. Go out and have fun, enjoy yourself, okay? Don't take a relationship serious to the point where if you meet somebody new, you're going to be like, this is the person I'm going to marry, or this person I'm going to be with, this person I'm going to have a baby with. Like, don't think that, just, just go with the flow, okay? Because you don't know, you know, if they need to be taken serious at that moment, or you don't want to get your hopes up high, okay? We have flirt. Extend your light heart energy to others. Yeah, so flirt. Okay, don't be afraid to flirt. Okay, get yourself. You got to put yourself out there. Okay, definitely if you want love. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So be willing to be open and vulnerable. Okay, don't be afraid of judgment or somebody overly criticizing you or looking at you different. Okay, so that's going to help somebody know how to love you. Okay, that's like tell somebody your love language, okay? So, we have here, release your ex. This time has come clean your energy. So, some guys are seeing some type of connection here, or you connect to somebody here that's very toxic, very draining. They're, they could be, I'm, I just heard, envious and jealous of you. Okay, this person could be very abusive, and it's like you're, you could have a, 
a big heart and you could feel sorry for this person and it's like you could have love for this person but it's like they're not doing anything for you you know definitely like as far as making you feel at peace this person drains your energy it's like you see how this girl look it's like she's tired like she's like huh that this person makes you irritated okay we have separation it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon so you could be separated from this ex soon or you already did okay free yourself it's time to take back control of your life so yeah take this time while you're in separation to reevaluate yourself okay to heal yourself take back control of your life don't try to feel like you you're tempted to go back to this person okay because you're allowing that person to have control of you learn how to have self-control right and we have attraction so yeah you could be extremely attracted to this person like oh my god like they're so sexy right but it's like they can't get their shit together okay what i'm saying you're gonna have a new person that's gonna be attracted to you okay once you free yourself from this person you could be attracted to somebody right now okay we have calling your soulmate you're gonna be super attracted to the soulmate that you're calling in as well okay and we have forgiving and learning. So, yeah, you still could be forgiving and learning, releasing and healing from the past. Okay. And just enjoying your present moment now. Okay. But you guys have been either doing prayers, affirmations, and visualizing this person. Okay. And you've also been putting in the work to, you know, have your soulmate come in towards you. If you haven't released your ex or you haven't freed yourself, then this is not going to come in towards you probably going to manifest somebody just like that person you're releasing okay so be careful you have to think positive what else spirit guides of the light and sisters and masters of the light let's Yeah, we have forgiveness at the bottom of the deck again. So it says forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Okay, so make sure you're forgiving yourself. Okay, don't let the past hold you back. What else? Unavailable. So this person is unable to give you all you deserve. Yeah, so if you feel yourself laden, you need to release this person. Okay. Don't allow this person to take up your day 24-7, okay? This person is not allowed to teach you a spiritual lesson, okay? They, they can't give you what you need right now, okay? Some of you guys could be having problems with your finances here. Or this person's having problems with their finances. We have trust. It is safe for you to trust in the situation. Yeah, so trust that everything is happening for a reason. This person did come in your life with a spiritual lesson. Play hard. So we're seeing this card again. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So find time to whoever you're connected to right now, have fun with them, okay? You could be working 24-7. You know, take some time out to, like, go on a date. Get dressed up, right? Don't be super hard on this new person. You have patience. Everything will unfold in divine time. Yeah. So you will most definitely be meeting the soulmate. Okay, very soon, your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So this person going to love you for you, okay? Just be yourself, be authentic, okay? You're going to realize that you didn't have to change nothing about yourself. Because I'm seeing this person from your past, it's like, they could have made you feel like you had to be a certain way, dress a certain way, or something like that. Could have made you believe in things, like, we're just fucking with your mind. He was like, I know that's not right, like. Why is they making it seem like this is right, like this is normal in a relationship? But this person, they're going to love you the correct way. I'm feeling that energy, like they're not going to play about you. Okay, let me give you guys some angel answers for whoever's resonating with this reading. Give you some advice to take from this reading. Okay.
Okay, let's see. What does the Aquarius need to take from this reading? Any advice, spirit guides, if I might, and just some masters, my angels of the lights. Do we have trust again? So trust, please. Some of you guys are having a hard time trusting. Trust. No need to worry. See? You could be worrying. The universe said that they got it. They have a plan. Remember? And we have yes. You're going to get that love that you deserve. Okay? Whatever question you got, Spirit is saying yes. Okay? So I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.